and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing my second year assessment which involves doing a presentation and being asked questions on my report that I prepared a few months ago and what I present in my presentation today. So it's scheduled to last for two hours but it should be okay because I feel like I am prepared now and I am ready for any questions that I'm asked. So just to explain how it works at my university, after our first nine months we have to write a report, it's like a progress report stating any results that we have or our future plans for the rest of our project and and at 21 months we also have to write a report and again reporting our results, our future plans etc etc. After these reports we also have to do a presentation in front of a panel of our assessors where we present what we reported in our report and we are asked questions to challenge whether we understand what we're doing and whether we have clear plans for the rest of the project. So this is my setup today. I have my double monitor situation, but I'm actually only using the big one. And as you can see here, I am making a list of questions which I might be asked today and the corresponding answer to the questions. So I'm basically trying to think outside the box of what I might be asked and write up responses. So hopefully later on, if I am asked these questions, I'll just be able to retrieve them from my mind because I've already thought about them. These questions are based on what I'm presenting in my presentation, but also based on what I have written in my report because the content is slightly different because I did write my report a few months ago, but it's taken some time in order to organize this in-person presentation because of Corona and and all that jazz. So this kind of technique of thinking of the questions and writing down my responses can also be used for a final PhD defence. So when you do your final presentation and you do your defence of your PhD project, I think this is quite a good method just for preparing yourself for any questions and so hopefully none of the questions come as a surprise and you haven't thought about them before you're asked them. I also have my report here so I'm just going through and reading my report and making sure I am familiar with everything that I wrote about. I've also made some notes at the side. I think I will take this into the exam with me just as a reference. I've also highlighted some key parts that I might like to remember in case I get asked a question on them. So yes, I think whenever you're doing a presentation or a defence on a report, oh my goodness, look at my recycling bag, please ignore that. I think it's important whenever you're doing a presentation on a report you've written to look over the report because some of the content in the presentation might be different than what you have written in the report. So just in case they ask questions on the report directly. Something I also find useful is to run through the actual presentation a few times. I do not like to use a script. I just like to go with the natural flow of my thoughts when I'm presenting as I think it just seems a lot more natural than memorizing a whole script. I also do not take notes into my presentations. Sorry, I realized I was just pointing you at the screen. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like to take notes in with me during a presentation. I personally don't think it looks very professional when people are just reading directly off of notes. So I am just going to go with the natural flow of my thoughts because this is my research and I know it inside out, I would like to think. So I don't need a script full of information. I can just let it come out of my head. Hopefully if we don't have brain fog in the middle of the presentation. <laughs> so I was feeling a bit stressed about this this morning when I woke up because I didn't feel very prepared, but since I woke up this morning, I have been going through my report, I have been writing up those questions, I have went over my presentation a few times, and now I feel calm and ready to go. Definitely the key for presentations and assessments like this is just being prepared. Preparation is key. Okay, I have two hours to go until the assessment. I think the worst part is actually just the waiting around part. Like I say, I feel prepared, it's just a case of I just want to get it over and done with now, you know? I will update you if I decide to do anything else in order to prepare for this afternoon. Oh hello. Oh hello. 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 This is what I am wearing for the presentations. It's just a little shirt that I'm wearing 
and some black jeans, which I always think look a bit more formal. Uh, obviously, I won't be wearing my slippers, but I am going to wear just a pair of uh, ankle boots. And I've done my hair for the first time in a very long time, put some makeup on, and I personally feel so much more confident where I'm wearing something nice and when I've got my hair done and my makeup done. So I always make the effort to kind of dress up and make myself feel good before a presentation because I know it will help with confidence, it will help with delivery of my presentation and overall, hopefully it will help things to go a bit more smoothly. <laughs> I am finished and I think it went well. I got asked lots of questions, but I feel like I managed to answer them very confidently. So I just need to wait and hear the verdict, but hopefully I've passed. Um, yeah, keep your fingers crossed, I'll let you know. For the rest of the week, I actually went away on a family trip to celebrate my mum's birthday. And here is a sneak peek of what we got up to. And you will see all of this in a vlog in the next couple of weeks. Thank you again for watching and see you next time. Bye.